Okay. Hear me roar. And watch me nay nay. You okay? It's a weapon, if nothing else. Jayla, please. Shut it. Please come here. Oh. Hey, how are you? Uh, hello. I excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey. No talking. Jailer. Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why well, don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Well, tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. This is dark. <laughs> Bastards. I don't like it. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. Both of us. You've been in here for a while, so it seems, though. That look. You, you really are. The judgment to the father. Dirty, Whatever dirty. Gods you believe in. I'm sorry. I, I meant no offense. But we have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. Yeah, think about it. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. <sighs> Dignity is worthless compared to that. Yeah, but if you're not getting out, I mean, die a dog or... What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Well, Doesn't we only have time to done. talk. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. I'm pretty good at it. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh. This doesn't look good. Nothing to say. Nice. Do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. Yeah. I was thinking about what you said about Lud. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Uh huh. Lud will likely betray uh -huh. the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. I'm pretty. How about Your marriage? Name. I want you as my wife. Boom! Fucking Ted MVP! Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagined less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may hmm. not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. But Lud's about to kill him. I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? 
When Lud Two kills him, are already dead. Uh. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. But it's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. That's not something you want to say, though. Locked up. Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs, I'll kill you. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Oh, Thomas. All you have to do is agree to marry me. And he'll do it power, anyways. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. So be it. Have it your way. You won't allow it. You want the kingdom too bad. You'll be back. I hope. Boom, next scene, her head's off. Oh, I would have to do something about that. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Why would you run? He's my brother! I wasn't finished! Wait, they're converting him! He won't die, but he'll be one of them. There's something I must show you. Oh, fuck you. Which is why I had to see Connor. Yeah, where did they come from? He's not well. He'll die. We'll turn him into one of us. <laughs> fuck. I need to see him. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. Let me hear about it. To do something for me. Kill him. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but that's when they found me. Give him this poison. Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. I told him I'd run away I'll and leave him to die. Did. I will be man enough you to end to his life myself. It. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain. <sighs> they won't be happy about this, of course. Well, we get to see what's up there. Oh. Hey. Yup, this looks normal. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? Yeah. It's meant for you. <coughs> I 
Oh, damn. Oh, that has gotten worse. Gareth, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? No, no. Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Remember your promise, Garrett. Yep. You said you'd leave me behind. To help Sylvie. Got her. God damn. I can't bear it anymore. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Cotter's a fighter. Always has been. Yeah. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. Nope. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. Now kill him and make him one of them. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Nightshade. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. Uh huh. Must, we must never be lost. Do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Yeah. Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. But it's just going to keep happening and you're going to kill For more. The North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. And his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. <sighs> Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Dude, blood magic is never good. I'm sorry. But I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Promise her more. Someone's gonna hack off my hand, right? Uh. Pass in peace. Gotcha. So they're gonna turn. We must burn the body. Oh, this only spells bad stuff for us. Oh my god. Fuck. Form a sentence, Ted. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be terrible. Oh, fuck. All right, the please remember what oh, he's gonna 
Your sister will pour. Once they're all seated, give the signal. Kill yourself to kill no Lud. How much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. Here, we'll switch That's glasses. Me. Here we go. Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. Hey, babe. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. Not in private. Okay, in private. The game dictates this is what happens. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But we're both these hot. These circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asha. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asha. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. I don't need your sympathy. I agree to your father's terms. That's all there is to say. I wish I could believe that. Well, I make him. You, well. you, you said that before. Understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. I'm sorry, but I don't trust your father. He ordered the ambush. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed. That was yeah. before. My father what changed? Would betray my trust. Really? He, he did it before! Fuck Jesus. you! My father's scared of you. Is I he? can believe that. He is craven. He knew who and what he was dealing with. But you? He thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. I promise, yeah. We yep. can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together, we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I and will lie to this woman. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I, I will I break this. You, you should not trust Asher. I'm afraid Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. Don't thank me. This will break your heart. But it'll backfire, and we'll all what die. Help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. Nice. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Oh, fuck you. Maybe the poison. Okay, but maybe don't say it that loud. Of course, my lord. There's gonna be, like, cups being switched, and... Poison being thrown back and forth between people in the back, and... Now kill him! Kill him! Kill him right now! Do it! Fuck you. Elissa, I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. I'll do it for him. There you go. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough blubbering. Whoa, Come hey. Back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. <laughs> Lord Whitehill. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into Welcome. your to drink your wine and call me father. I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? 
I didn't take you for an ass lick, you forest. Father, well, Vicar, Ash is showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye, and get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia, why don't you fetch the wine for his lordship? But Talia needs to drink it first. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall. Yeah. But you're too ready to give it over. That's what I was waiting Your for. False smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, Father. Asha's just showing you the respect you deserve. That's true. So now we're no better than Walder Frey, or? So, Lord Forrester. You made your way as a soul sword out there, did you? Eh, a little rape, a little murder. Anything for the right price. Mm. Oof. And your family must be so proud. And all those bed slaves a soul sword must enjoy across a narrow sea. Ah, oh, I can't imagine how my sister will be able to please you. All right. It's enough, Griff. We to be brothers. We to act like it. Enough bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griff, and let's drink. Ew. Now pour it in the mother's cup as well. A toast. And then just... We should make a toast. Ah. What shall we toast to? Really, don't... Come on, then. Let's hear it. To the alliance between our families. House Forrester and House Whitehill. Let us put the bloodshed behind us. To our families. Yes. No, no, no. This isn't right. We'll switch. You first, then me. In the way of the North. Come, Forrester. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Let me. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. Oh, it's her choice. Iron from ice. Mother. Not bad. <coughs> water. Be, be water. He's joking. Help him. You. <coughs> Me. You. You fucking poisoned me. <coughs> Oh, was it no. worth it? No. Fucking forest. Father. Asha. How could you? Kill him. End this. There you go, best friend. Get my family out of here. Well, I'll deal with you myself. Just don't stutter too much, Telltale. Oh, I want to see every frame of this. It could have been so different. Quinn. Goodbye, Asha. 
Dude, really? Oh. He has to die. Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck you. Game of Thrones. Fuck you. Seven fucking hills.